We've got to make sure, uh, as reporters, that we have the right language for this moment. Mm. Um, the traditional way that we cover political disputes in Congress, for example, is uh, Democrats on one side, Republicans on the other. The spectrum is liberal to conservative, and we should not take sides on liberal versus conservative. It sounds like he supports actual journalism. Right? However, this situation, uh, the Trump era more generally, but this particular situation, that's not the spectrum. The spectrum is truth on the one side and lies on the other side. Excuse me. What? We can't shrink from identifying who's on the truth side and who's on the lying side. That is a choice that Republicans, many Republicans have made, and we in the press are not indifferent to that. We should take sides in that. We are for the truth, and we've got to say so. I guarantee it. Would I lie? I'm going to shred this clip, but first a quick 30 second message about this free coin offer from Noble Gold. Over the years, you've probably tried different investments in stocks and mutual funds. So you know they can be up and down all over the place. But with inflation running at 8.5%, its highest rate for 40 years, do you really need uncertainty? Being able to sleep at night knowing your investments aren't going to crash is worth its weight in gold. And this month, for every cash deal above 20K, you'll get an incredible three ounce silver American American virtue coin completely free as a thank you so call 877-646-5347 now to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com that's noblegoldinvestments.com you can find that link in the description and make sure to tell them drone tech sent you we can't shrink from identifying who's on the truth side and who's on the lying side that is a choice that Republicans, many Republicans have made, and we in the press are not indifferent to that. We should take sides in that. We are for the truth, and we've got to say so. Ah, uh, yes, the justification of every political propagandist ever. He thinks that his political party, the Democrat Party, is the party of truth. And his political opposition, who he's been openly against for decades, are the party of liars. All mental gymnastics to rationalize what is obviously Democrat Party political propaganda, masquerading as fact-based news. Now, I'm definitely not here to claim that Republicans are trustworthy truth tellers that shouldn't be criticized. Far from it. But this guy Harwood claims that this is the party of truth tellers? The party of Russian collusion? The party that spread Russian disinformation around the country in the form of the Steele dossier? The party of Russian bounties for U.S. soldiers? A story that turned out to be completely fake? The false claims about Trump calling neo-Nazis fine people that continue to this day? The party of Jesse Smollett? The party that claimed the Covington kids were racial agitators. The party that claimed the Hunter Biden laptop story was Russian disinformation in order to influence the outcome of an election. I could go on and on, but I guess this guy Harwood thinks that if he doesn't report on the lies, then they never happened. Just <laughs> look at some of these headlines documenting Harwood's Democrat PR campaign. Americans apparently need to realize that the economy is too good right now. Harwood also insists that the pain you're feeling from inflation is a GOP charade. And surprise, surprise, he also called the Hunter Biden laptop story Russian disinformation due to the fact he was all in on the Russian collusion hoax and defender of the now completely discredited steel dossier that turned out to be Russian disinformation. We can't shrink from identifying who's on the truth side and who's on the lying side. That is a choice that Republicans, many Republicans have made, and we in the press are not indifferent to that. We should take sides in that. We are for the truth, and we've got to say so. Are you kidding me? Without taking a stand on whether he's too old to run for re-election, let me just uh, run through what's true, what's false. What's false is that he is not capable of doing the job right now, or he's not mentally um, in tune with the demands of the job. The gears of his mind are working. Uh, that is, uh, that's an issue uh, pushed by uh, uh, right-wing media, but it's not correct. Um, I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> Don't believe your lying eyes and ears. Biden's constant incomprehensible mumbling. America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was going to put him uh, foot, foot. interacting with invisible entities, taking orders from giant bunny rabbits, falling upstairs and collapsing while standing still. It's all just right wing media. Gee, I wonder what Harwood's take on Trump's mental state was. Brianna, uh, Donald Trump 
is mentally unwell. You must be a right winger who's too uneducated to understand that it's completely different when we do it. This hack declares that it's not correct that Bynes' mental and physical faculties are noticeably declining, which is just baseless speculation on his part. Great reporting. The only way he could factually make this statement is if Joe Biden took a cognitive test, which he hasn't. Biden did get a medical exam, but the cognitive portion was mysteriously missing. You know who did take one? By the way, if you spend your money on Dove or Chevrolet, stop it. They're supporting deceptive Democrat propaganda meant to keep them in power despite their astronomical failures. Also, thanks to Kevin Tober from Newsbusters for sharing this clip on Twitter. Make sure to check out his article and follow both of us on Twitter. Lastly, if you haven't followed me on Rumble, do it now. You never know what's gonna happen here on YouTube and I wanna make sure that you all know where to find me. If you're still here, please hit that like button, share this video, and leave a comment to let us all know what you think about this CNN fuckery. Thanks a lot, see you all next one.